Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some great accessories for your Baofeng radio that'll take your radio experience to the next level without having to spend a bunch of money on a new radio. Using these accessories I was able to receive better signal and I was able to open up a whole new world of digital modes and I wanted to share those experiences with you. Hopefully some of these accessories help you out and make your Baofeng more exciting to use. The first thing that you should get for your radio if it did not come with one is a chirp programming cable. In order to easily add memory and channels to your radio, unlock new features and easily change settings, having one of these will come in handy to make sure your radio is much more enjoyable. Next, we're gonna focus on antennas. Those hard plastic antennas, often called rubber duckies, that come with your Baofeng are known for being some of the worst antennas that there are. One of the number one ways to improve your radio's receive and transmit is to get a better antenna. And it's fairly quick and cheap to improve your radio's receive and transmit. I'm going to show you a few options here that greatly improve your radio's performance. Up next is this Diamond SRH519. Diamond is my favorite brand of antennas, so I wanted to try out one of their antennas for my Baofeng. This is an 8 inch whip antenna which looks a little more reasonable when packing on your hip I think. The main problem with these diamond antennas is they don't sell this size antenna with an SMA female connection. So I had to use this adapter to get it connected up. I do love these antennas, but if you want to use a diamond antenna, you will have to have this adapter. When you use this adapter, it will have just a little gap in between, but there may be better adapters out there that doesn't have this problem. However, if you're looking for an SMA female antenna that will connect right up to your radio, then this NA771 is, is a Chinese brand of cheap yet actually decent antennas that is affiliated with BTEC. They do offer these in different sizes. This specific one is the 16 inch width antenna and the receive and transmit range is actually really good if you can stand to have this long of an antenna attached to your hip. They do sell this in eight inch and their eight inch antennas work pretty well too. I just prefer the diamond brand antennas when I can get them but these are really good antennas. Next up is this mobile car antenna with a magnetic mount. With this small adapter you're able to hook up any of these antennas up into your Baofeng. So you can so you can mount this antenna up to your vehicle and hook it right up to your bow thing. That way it puts the antenna outside and above your vehicle while you're commuting. You can get the best signal even while inside of your vehicle. I love this antenna and it works really good while I'm mobile. This antenna does feature a 13 foot cord and I'm able to run it from the back of my truck through the front, through the door, and I just shut the door on the wire. It does decrease the quality a little bit. However, it still lasts for a long time. While we're on the subject of adapters, here is two different types of SMA to SO39 adapters. These adapters will let you connect these large connectors to your small radio connection point. Each of these types have their own purpose. You can use this to connect to your base antennas and mobile antennas to your radio. There are tons of different antennas out there, so just be aware that there's most likely an antenna out there for what you're looking for. There's even directional antennas that you can use to communicate directly with satellites just using your Baofeng radio. I would absolutely recommend getting a new antenna to improve the efficiency of your radio. Now let's move into batteries. The batteries that come with your Baofeng are often way too small and do not last very long. However, there's tons of other options out there that you can purchase. will not only make your Baofeng last longer on each charge, but also makes them look less like a kid's walkie-talkie in my opinion. There are many different types and some of them get pretty interesting. I'll show you a few now. First, we'll go over this battery. This one is my absolute favorite. It is 3800 it is 3800 milliamp battery, which not only makes your radio look meatier, but it also doubles the battery life. And the best part is, it plugs directly into USB-C and charges without the need for having special cable or docks to charge a radio on like you're used to. One of my charging docks that came with my radios have broke that I bought, and several radios did not come with one that I bought second hand. So I don't have enough chargers to charge all of my radios. So this is the perfect way to charge them without needing all that extra equipment. You can even use one of these anchor chargers that hook right up to it and power your radio several days off of one charge. If you are like me and like to obsess over having rechargeable batteries on hand at all times, fully charged, and don't want to spend a ton on all these specialized batteries, then this battery case is for you. 
With this case, it actually opens up and you can load it up with six AA batteries. It'll run your ham radio right off the AA batteries and it hooks up just, just like a normal Balfang battery. Whenever the batteries are run down, you can swap it out with charged ones when it goes down. If you pair this with a solar charger, then you have endless juice while out in the woods. I thought this battery looked really neat and has some cool purposes. If you have watched me at all, you know that I love APRS. One thing that I wanted to set up was an APRS station that would start when I powered on my truck and stop when I powered my truck off. I found that this battery that hooks up to your vehicle's cigarette outlet and runs your radio while the truck is on and since it doesn't actually contain any batteries in it, whenever you shut your truck off, your radio will go off too. There are plenty of special use cases that I can see using this for such as an APRS station. Something else that I thought was really neat is this handheld mic. Although at first you might think it looks ridiculous, but I see several use cases for this. This hooks right into your Baofeng's ports and works as a mic, PTT, and a speaker. There has been several times that I've been listening to a local net while outside working, and in order to hear when the radio is clipped on the bell, I would have to turn the radio all the way up. I didn't want to use the earpiece since I was sweating, so I can clip this piece right on my shirt next to my ear and I can hear every word. I can also see this being useful if you are out in the field on field day, needing to have a lot of conversations and not wanting to unclip your radio every single time. One thing that I learned after getting my bow phone was the fact that you actually can use digital modes with your Baofeng. You just need the right accessories in order to make that work. The downfall is the Baofeng only supports frequency modulation or FM. So digital modes are limited. There are several attachments that still get you access to things like APRS or WinLink and other digital modes that support FM. The first cheapest and most common one is the APRS K1 cable. Honestly, I'm not sure why Baofeng even sells this one because it does not push the transmit button. You are forced to use Vox on your radio, which contains a ton of issues and can transmit things that did not intend to transmit, such as computer audio. However, if you want to receive only APRS, just hook this up to your radio and to your computer, and it's a useful low-cost tool, especially if you pair it with this USB audio receiver you can direct audio out to the Baofeng without worrying about the wrong audio ending up on the air. For our second option into digital radio on the Baofeng, this brand new cable from BTEC is the APRS K1 Pro. This was just listed and had no reviews at the time I picked one of these up, so this is a brand new cable that's been released by BTEC. This cable is similar to the APRS K1, but the pro part has some circuitry in it that when it detects audio coming through, it pushes the PTT button automatically, which is faster and allows your radio to have the squelch off so that you can receive without waiting for squelch to kick on. Because the squelch is turned off, you're able to receive APRS packets way better. If the next items are not in your budget, this is definitely one I would recommend. Although the cable was a little finicky at times, it seemed to work pretty well once I got the sensitivity adjusted correctly. I will add that this will transmit on any incoming audio. You are responsible for any interference that you may cause, so be sure that your phone doesn't start playing music when hooked up or your computer doesn't play audio out of the radio. It did get stuck in transmit a couple times until I got the sensitivity just right. So be careful when using this. The next two options only transmit when there's actually something to be transmitted, so they're a much better option if you can afford them. This device is a DigiRig, and it's a great device. It's small, versatile, trustworthy, and a great device for digital modes that you can use FM for, such as WinLink, SSTV, and of course, APRS. In fact, you can use this device for a permanent digipeter and eye gate, which I have set up for my use. Using the serial port and the correct cable, you can actually use this to program your radio instead of the cheap BTEC programming cable, which I've had tons of issues with. I have several videos out there about this device, so if you're interested, be sure to check them out. It also uses RTS for PTT, so it will force your radio to transmit without needing to use Vox, which means it will send and receive very well. One of my favorite devices is the MobiLink TNC4. 
It is like the DigiRig, but it's different. It is a TNC, meaning it actually processes the packet information and passes it off over Bluetooth to your software like APRS Droid. Since it passes the data rather than the audio, it takes less processing power from your device and it also pushes the PTT button and transmit when there is something to transmit. The battery life is about two days of continuous use, so I keep this device charged and on me at all times as my mobile APRS station. I hope you was able to find some of these accessories useful. I know I sure did and it definitely made my experience with my Baofeng a lot more fun and useful. I do have more videos on the digital modes that you can do with your Baofeng. Please be sure to check those out.